Hello, Mike Jack 1212. Two Legit City on the mic. Yo, what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing today? Two Legit City here today. We playing some of that oxygen not included. Getting back into the Oni colonies. And of course, y'all know what time it is. Back to the Green Mamba. We're at the Nala's Life. And of course, how's everyone doing today? Thank you guys for playing some words to start off the stream. Hope you guys had fun. And of course, how is everyone doing today? Spell more. I see you over there. Miss Chemical Stairs, Circuit Treat, Bull Canoe. We also got uh, Protect N, Malrock, Actels, Mar09. We also got Cyberdyne, yeah, Ruik, Suki. Also, there is Pigeon. I know you're there somewhere. Jacko and Hyde. And of course, we also have. Am I missing anyone? I feel like I'm missing at least somebody. But thank you guys for playing today. If I missed your name, I'm very sorry. Zelly, I see you over there. And of course, we're getting back in today to the... I am not replying. What's going on? Chat's being weird. No, we're good. We're good. No audio for me. What game did you move to? We're in... Uh, oxygen not included. Lurking but here, Crystal Golem as well. I see you over there. Thank you guys for being here today. So, we are going to be playing some of that oxygen not included, getting back into our colonies. And today, we're going to be actually starting space. We're still setting up a little bit of the pipeline works to get our first rocket out. But uh, we're going to be doing some space scanning today. And we are oxygenated now. We had the issue of a lot of carbon dioxide, and we were able to lower it. There's still actually a lot, but for the most part, uh, we're going to try to deal with it today. Especially since we're going to be getting into space, we're actually going to be able to start utilizing the CO2. So since we're going to be able to start utilizing it, it's going to be kind of nice. So we're going to be trying to do some space scanning, scan out a little bit more of the star map, also do the uh, rocket research, get some more tech in on the uh, tech tree. Of course, probably do a little bit of... Uh, I don't know. I believe right after we saved, uh, we discovered that this asteroid right here is a planetoid like this. Well, this point of interest right here is actually a asteroid. So it's going to be something like this that we could uh, go in and check out. I don't think we're going to fly there, though, since we're not really, uh, you know, in a great shape for that. And I think what we're going to want to do today is finally get some of our uh, plastic into the housing. I don't think we're going to be able to modify it anymore. If you guys do have an idea on how to make it so that these are not separate rockets, because it kind of hits my rocket limit, it kind of sucks. <laughs> so if you guys know anything how to deal with that, that would be amazing. But of course, guys, hope you guys are doing good today. Any questions you guys have, feel free to ask, because I would be happy to help. But uh, we got to get on to the colony progression. So the aqua tuners are fine. We do have some cooling loops in place, which is okay. We expanded a little bit of our temporary petroleum plant. It is going to be temporary. And I know, I know, I keep saying that. But it's going to be temporary. <laughs> and I think we're going to do a little bit more mining. We're going to probably want to box up the chlorine gas vents. Due to the fact that that just being there is kind of, you know, kind of a bad thing. So we're going to try to remove this. Let's get the digging commands out. This was a polluted water vent that I might want to stack just because it's decent water. Low temperature. And I probably want to get rid of this. Oh, we're max gas pressure over here, 1800. Feels weird, man. I'm actually pressurized. That's kind of insane. I know these guys are going to keep pushing out, though, because of the. Uh, properties of how that works they're just gonna keep pushing out gas which i don't mind because we're gonna be moving out some more co2 right now anyways all right speed this up have the dupes get the jobs done and looking at our living arrangement this is not too bad this is gonna be temporarily our eating area this is a nice 120 tile meal hall with our 16 tables 
I probably want to get rid of that hydrogen bubble. Alright, so we're just going to try to trap it. Only way we know how. Building a random tile. And then slowly get it into a corner. Ooh. Hey, there it is. This was the planetoid I was talking about. Metal rich, metallic caves. Wouldn't it be too bad. But how is everyone in chat? I see you guys over there. How are you guys all? Miss Chemical Series, how have you been? I haven't talked to you in like years. <laughs> how have you been? Hope life's been treating you well. Hope work is well. Hope the bosses are not a pain in the ass anymore. But hope all has been good, you guys. Hope everyone's doing okay. I feel like I don't know what's happening anymore. Is it weird that I feel like... There's a lot going on in the world. But it, it feels like... Not that I shouldn't pay attention to it, but it feels like it's not worthwhile to pay attention to like some of the stuff. I don't know. A lot of crazy stuff's going on though. Hope everyone's doing okay. Metal land, yes, metal land indeed. We're gonna have metal. Alright, so the dupes are able to go outside. We're just waiting for them to start finishing up some of the uh, pipelines. I shouldn't mind this out, just because. And then... Get a ladder here. To get this tile. I do want to get that, move that out, and then deconstruct the ladders. And then probably want to mine that, so I could move it out of that tile. Oh yeah, I need to make my kill box. Oh, I need to fix my hydrogen balance. That's right. So I need to release hydrogen into here. Alright, we're going to let them do that. And then our kill box is going to be... It should be pretty straightforward. So the lighter liquid is going to be either brine or salt water. I don't have much... So, we're going to use the salt water. Alright, so this needs to go up to like... 1400 kilograms? Well, we have to let it spread out too. That's another thing, we gotta let it spread out. Let it flow out, let the hydrogen spread. How much do we have in the bottle? Do 200 kilograms? That's a lot. We should be fine though. Now we need water, a little bit of salt water, put some water on top, and we're going to make a drown box. The only problem with that is that I'm not going to have a uh, auto... Actually, I could put auto sweeper here. And that would allow me to... Uh, and then I can move the door onto that tile. And then allows me to put a loader right there. That would actually work. Alright, so let's turn that off. Because this is already above. We want this to spread out a little bit first. And we got to look at our shipping containers. So that's no longer going to be needed. Let's actually just remove this. Get rid of the chute. And we have this right there that should be tied to automation. And do I have my critter sensors yet? I don't think I do. So I need... Oh, I do. It's one right here. And the automation's kind of jank. And then we have one right here. And that works. Okay. So this needs to go into the chute. This needs that. This needs that. So we're going to build that setup. And this shouldn't be necessary. Oh, I haven't never set this. Ha. Auto Wrangle Surplus. Let's mop. Glossies. Mop. Um, let's keep glossies and keep all the non-glossies moved out. So we're trying to move some critters out on automatic setup. It should work. 
I'm not really too worried about it. CO2 levels are not bad. We are letting the hydrogen spread, but it's going to take a while. Since it's uh, thin quarters. So this is at 18. Wait, why is that at 18? Why is that such a high threshold? And why is the chlorine pushing out? This is really weird. The chlorine should not be able to push out. And it's not stabling out, which is really awkward. I have no idea why the chlorine is not staying low. Like the CO2 is. One bubble of hydrogen feels bad. We'll have to let it free. I want to move out a little bit more chlorine so that it's a little bit lower. So I don't have to worry about it floating out. 1400 grams. 1600 grams. And the chlorine is still kind of high. Huh, so this is in thousands and this is in hundreds. Yeah. We have to move it out. And we have to wait for it to settle out too. That's the worst part. Alright, so automation. I need to cut that. And then we deconstruct these two tiles. And then it goes down and to the right. And then we're going to have that set up. This is going to mean green signal if it's below 10. And if there's no green signal, we have it bypass into here. This is going to have to be like that. And then be like this. We'll just cut it now, as that would be the more proper setup anyways. And then the automation's already set. Yep. And this is green signal below 10. So we just gotta wait for the dupes to catch up on that. Shouldn't be too bad. And then we just gotta add power to the shearing stations. I can't tell if this is too much hydrogen or too less. Because it's it's not balancing out, man. That's weird. Good afternoon, to legit and chat. What's going on, Pain Dragon? How are you today? How is the Tuesdays? Hope you're doing well. And of course, everyone in chat, hope you guys are having a nice day. Hope you guys are doing good. Better than a Monday. That's true, man. Why is this letting in oxygen? How did this let in oxygen? What the hell just happened? Dude, what the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? All right, man, I'm going to have to filter that out. <laughs> Dude, that's not cool. What the hell just happened right here, man? Someone came in and let in some oxygen. All right, we're going to have to do a proper lock right here, probably. Well, I probably just need to drip a little bit more oil, to be honest. Load bug? No, it, it didn't happen on load. It... It spawned here, like, in the middle of the cycle. So when I loaded, it was all CO2 and hydrogen. And then randomly, it just decided to add in oxygen. And then my lock was missing a drop of liquid oil on the bottom. I mean, it is what it is. I don't know what's going on here. I'm just going to have to fix it. All right. So we have steel. That doesn't matter. Oh, the mealwood is growing. Oh, what a pain. That actually makes it kind of tough. 
that actually makes it kind of tough. Man, all right, so we have to put it here. And then I can't put my filter anywhere, so I have to put it up top. So we'll have it here. Uh, output gets released. And then we pipe it in. And then the filtered output, that is oxygen, gets released. This guy needs to die. Wait, this guy is... How is that guy tame? Yeah, Mulewood's always too tall. How is this guy tame? Do I have a critter drop-off somewhere for Drekos? I shouldn't. How'd that guy get out? That's what I'm curious about. How'd this guy get out? It shouldn't be possible. And he's trying to go back in. This guy's trying to go back in. There's a door right there. It's a glitch. I don't know, man. This guy's been starving, too, so he hasn't been eating. He's got to die, man. I'm sorry. I don't have a critter drop-off anywhere else, right? Because I do move the critters, so there's a chance that since I was moving him and relocating him, he had to get relocated somehow. I don't know. Feels weird, man. He swapped with the oxygen. I know, right? Coming in with the illegal strats. Alright, so we gotta do something with the pump to filter out the oxygen. We gotta do the setup. That's gonna take a little bit of time. Uh, we probably could just use that power line. Since I could just uh, turn off some of the other things. Alright, speed it up. I don't know what happened, man. We're just going to say that it's it's all good. Yes. Alright, so I got to redo this and that. So that this line is the oxygen. In which we don't have anymore. The filtered output is oxygen and the output is... Wait, what? What am I filtering out? No filter. Ah, uh, every time, dude. Just pump it out, man. Just pump it out. Alright, so the bridge needs to get removed. This needs to go to oxygen. And then we have that here. Dude. That's so jank. We should be fine now, though. Alright, now that's fine. Now we'll get the CO2 line in. Alright, now we get the CO2 to come out. Good stuff, good stuff. And I was crushing every other gas. What a timer setup. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. I gotta close that up though. Someone's gonna stand inside and get stuck. Duplicate special. All right, so we're just waiting for that to work. And we'll fill it in with some CO2 for now, just to start releasing some. Not going to do scanning yet with that. We're just going to do some data bank research. Of course, we're going to need to build the space for first, though. I think everything's so far so good. Need to make sure my food storage is in a vacuum. This is built nice. So we're going to filter out oxygen. Everything else just comes out right here. And should be fine. So I'm hoping to pull out all the oxygen. Now I have to wait for the oxygen bubbles to come over though. There we go. There's two more. Three more. Come on. To the left, to the left. We need you guys coming over here to the left. To the right, I mean. I'm sorry. To the right, to the right. Anybody? Anybody. 
Yeah, no, yeah, no. I could just wait for the oxygen to creep over. Yep, I gotta wait for the oxygen to creep over. It's gonna take forever if I don't. I don't want to waste power, so I might as well just do that. Alright, no scone is done. Good stuff. Let's remove the rocket control station. We know this is going to be a wall toilet. The wall toilet special. And go with the output input setup. And of course, we're going to need a ladder right here. We could probably leave the rocket here, to be honest. Cancel deconstruct. And then we're going to want plastic tiles. Whoa, wait, how tall is the station? It's three tall, right? It is three tall. No, no, I have to do it like that. Yeah, never mind. I got to remove the rocket control station. What is this? What is what? This is a rocket, baby. That's what this is. So technically, these are solid tiles. And then that's four. So I need a ladder here. Feels bad. Wait, what? Why? What are you doing? Yes. We're going to space, baby. We're checking out the space with a telescope and then we're going to fly outside, dude. Y'all know what it is. We got to do what we got to do. The suits look okay. The oxygen looks nice. As long as we're... Uh, Oh, we're no longer doing, uh... Oh, we're out of sand? Hold up. Am I actually out of sand? I'm actually out of sand. Holy crap. I'm actually out of sand. Oh, man, that's that's kind of bad. Uh, I have a lot of salt, so I could crush that into uh, table salt to get free sands. I think I have to do that. Let me look at my rock crusher to see if I can get some other byproducts. Do I have fossil? Fossil gives you sand as well. It's probably not worth it. I probably just need to dart, uh, start doing uh, table salt because you get free sand from that. So if we do... So 100 kilograms is... If you get 100 kilograms per use, 10 uses gives you a ton. So... 10 equals 1, and then I have 33. So if I do 99 divided by 10, that's 9 tons. Eh, that's not bad. I'll do 90. Yeah, that should be fine. Just to get it started. Yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. Because I do need the salt. Eventually, I'll probably have to mine out the igneous right here. Even though I don't want to. It's a nice cold thermal energy. You could use that as a freezer. So, yeah, feels bad. Alright, pipeline is in can't complain I knew I do need my plastic tiles right there and I am going to have to remove that ladder and this ladder I'm also going to need to have storage bin for plastic my rocket control station is gonna be right here and then I think that's it restroom plastic we get the data banks there's not gonna be any food in here uh, because we don't have any storage for food and then I need oxygen. Yes. We could do that for now. Just to release some O2. I should have O2 canisters in front of my suit docks. Wait a second. It's polluted oxygen? Hold up. Why is there canisters of polluted oxygen? I'm confused. Why is there canisters of polluted oxygen? Did I filter it? Nah, that's not that's not a thing, because this is only coming in from that. How did I get polluted oxygen canisters? I'm actually confused. Did that did that change recently? Do you get released polluted oxygen in canisters now when you get worn suits? Because it's a mix of both polluted and oxygen. Now I guess we'll have to find out. That's kind of weird. All right, so we're gonna wait for that to be built. And while we wait for that, how is the, oh, it's there, nice. We gotta pump it out. It's teasing my pump. Get pumped, get pumped. Come on, get pumped. 
Oh my god. Now the oxygen is leaving us. Before we could even turn it on. To the right, dude. Come on. We're, we're creating a force to drag you in and it's not following. And it's on the left side. God damn it. Ah, this game. It's that one oxygen bubble, dude. Come on, dude. To the right. We need to pump you up. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Get pumped. He got pumped. Let's go. Get out of here. All right. So now we could bop this. Deconstruct the pump. Wall. It's more like that. Let the filters finish. All right. So now we could deconstruct that. The vent line is no longer necessary. Get rid of the gas vent. Get rid of the filter. Finally. It's back to normal. Somehow, my CO2 got deleted. Wait, what happened? How did I lose all my carbon dioxide? What the hell? That's actually not a thing. That's, that's kind of wild. Alright, I do have carbon dioxide in canisters, right? Y'all see this? There used to be enough CO2 here, and then it's disappeared. I don't even know what's happening with that. So what I was doing was pumping up multiple gases at the same time and filtering it. Somehow the CO2 got deleted when I was releasing regular oxygen. It was the only thing that was releasing. Reverse breathing. I know, man. What the hell's going on? I got to start releasing CO2 manually. All right, so this is 11 tiles. 11 tiles at less than 100 grams. So if the target is 800, so we're at 100, I need 700 times 11. That's 7.7 .7 kilograms, right? Because it's 700 grams times 11 tiles, yeah. I think I could time this because we started at 200. So then we need to go 7.7. .7, so that's 192.3. Yo, man, plants don't breathe in CO2 like in real life, though. Come on. Alright, now we just gotta wait for the CO2 to settle down, and it should be enough to keep it pressurized constantly. Alright, so now my o my hydrogen pressure is at 15, 13. This is around 12, 13. This is 13, 14. That's not bad. The leading happens when you release small amounts of gas, and it can't displace anything. I mean, there's a chance that happens. We release CO2 and then it couldn't spawn. That's weird, though, that that happens. Come on, nobody. Build it on the floor so that I could build my station on top. 5,000. We're going to go for manufactured plastic here. And we're only going to put the slider on 5,000, so we always have enough plastic at home. Diluted into hydrogen, I guess. It's weird, though, that that happens. Alright, so the oxygen's filtered out. Not too bad. I might as well start filtering out the new gases. So we have mixed gas tanks here. Because I was pumping it from the bottom, originally. And we're going to remove these canisters now. But this is a mixed tank. You can see oxygen and chlorine in there. We're going to start crushing it in this gas setup. Right now, it is a vacuum. But we made a infinite pressure gas crushing setup. What a design.
<laughs> Infinite gas pressure, gas crushing. Let's go, boys. We're not messing around over here. And there's nothing there. Okay, so that means I do this. Look at the strats. <laughs> Instead of piping it out, I'm just going to connect the pipes. Let's go. So there's chlorine, oxygen, polluted oxygen. Only CO2 gets put in. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like the oil can't spill out. Looks like the chlorine can't close. We're going to close the door. Bam, delete it. And then the chlorine moves up. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it works. The gas crusher. Easy money. Alright, back inside. Waiting for that still. Oh, I need power. I have solar panels, right? I do. So I need to make my battery input. So, rocketry, we need the power outlet fitting. We'll just put it right underneath the building and have it straight connect. Alright. What is that in the middle of the ship? In the middle of the ship, right here, this is a battery. And then on top of that is a solar panel. So we use that so that we could collect power from the sunlight. Oh, there's no sunlight right now. It's nighttime. <laughs> Feels bad. No sunlight right now. But we use the power of the sun to harness the energy. And with that power, we become Superman. Knowing the cockpit. Uh, this is the Orbital Data Collection Lab. So, if you are old enough to remember, before USBs came out, there was something called a zip drive. And before that, we had something called floppy disks. Believe it or not, that was supposed to be the future. And within a year, USBs came out and ruined everything. I remember I had a teacher tell me that zip drives are going to be the future because you could store so much stuff on it. And then USBs came out and like increased that by like tenfold. <laughs> oh, man. And then we never saw them again, dude. I think zip drives might have had the shortest lifespan in technology. Because it came out, but before it could even blow up, it got overtaken by new tech. Which is kind of odd, because that doesn't happen that often. But when it does, I guess it's pretty dramatic in how it happens. They don't think it be like it is, but it do. Really do be like that sometimes. Jazz drives were the future. Are jazz drives another name for zip drives? Only 1.44 megabytes? That's, that's the reason why, though. Compared to USBs, USBs held a lot more storage space. But then it's like compared to floppy disks, where you, you didn't hold that much. Yo, man, the struggle was real. Oh, no. Ah, oh, God. So I have a coaster. And I lifted up my drink, and my coaster stuck to my drink. Don't you guys hate that? <laughs> you use a coaster because you're told to, and then you pick up your drink, and the coaster sticks to the bottom of your drink. That stuff's the worst. Oh, iced tea is so delicious. Guys, is it weird? That I have a fascination for iced tea. Like, it's just... It's like the perfect drink, man. Oh, look. Plastic. Can I reach that? I could. Okay. They could reach that. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. So, I'm looking at this. I think we're okay. Alright. So, I am going to safe desave because I don't trust the game. It's called safety. And I'm going to do this. I can't do that. And there's no way for me to block the Drekos from getting out, huh? Alright, we're going to have to kill some Drekos, boys. Let's, let's hope this is not too bad. <laughs> we're going to have to deconstruct both tiles. And then we're going to have to place the door. And then any of the Drekos that break out need to be killed. 
I used to swap MP3s with a friend. Uh, when we were on dial-up. Oh my god. And you had to fit a song into multiple diskettes. Oh god, dude. Dude. Can you imagine how movies look like back then? It's like a freaking tower. Like a CD tower, but it's all floppy disks. <laughs> that uh, that was probably like gross looking, man. I can't even imagine. Oh, jazz disk were one megabyte. Zip disk were a hundred. There we go. Dude, man, back in the days, MP3 file sharing and stuff like that. Man, I'm showing my age, dude. Not gonna lie, showing my age. One more, one more. Let me get another one. Let me get. Oh, come on! They're gonna break out. Oh, they're breaking out. Oh, they're they're coming in. They're eating the bomb lily. Oh my god! They're eating all the food. Kill them, boys! Kill them! Oh my god! They're eating all the bomb lily. All right, how many are in here? Sixteen critters. They doubled in volume. We gotta take them, boys. We gotta take them out. All right, we're just gonna we're just gonna have to pick random eight of them. One, two, three, four. Is that five? Let's go with this one. Six and then seven. All right, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens after we uh, call the pack. The babies are stuck on the island. It'd be like that sometimes. I gotta wait for them to pass, man. I don't have a place to store Abyssalite. Really? That should be miscellaneous. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, the canister emptier is what it was. Okay, it's fine. There's a critter drop-off. No, that takes too long. We gotta kill him, boys. It takes too long to move them back. That's not worth it. We gotta bring down the numbers. We're at nine. Eight. Nice. And just like that, all things are balanced. Yo, man. It's all good. We're, we're okay now. This guy's gotta die now. It feels bad. <laughs> all right and it's looking like it's pretty balanced it's hydrogen on top bottom chlorine co2 none of it is gonna float up to go back down now all we have to do now is start working on our kill box so i need to put a sweeper here oh i could put it like that that works pretty well i would just have to get rid of this ladder which is okay Look at Cthulhu coming in with the sniper. All right, so I should be able to do this and then build a loader right here. Nice. And then the loader gets to go out into my kitchen. So this would go out like this. Just like that. I would probably want to move it into here, because that's a better setup. But we would want that to scoop out the meat. I could make a filter right here. We murdering Dracos today? No, man. We're making an automatic system to murder Dracos. <laughs> we're, not, we're not doing it ourselves. We're just making a, a, a robot do it instead. You know how it is, Cthulhu. <laughs> How are you doing today, Mr. Cthulhu? You know what we're setting up right now? Your favorite room, dude. It's back. You remember this place? Ah, <laughs> uh, we're starving them first? No, 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 no. We got the water bubble set up. We got the water bubble set up. Dude, you already took damage, dude. Feels bad. Feels bad. 
All right, so with all that, this is going to be better food source. We're going to be doing some space scanning. I think we're going to do some new ranches today. And I'll probably have to clear out this area. I really want to, just so that I could start having a better setup. And we might extend our arbitrary farm. Maybe. Huh. Ethanol starting to get low. That actually means I might have to start setting up the second setup right here. Uh, and this power line's only at 960 because we're not going to use a tepidizer anymore. Okay. So we'll set this up like so. And then we'll get ready to set up the bottom. So we'll put a tile at the bottom just to close it up. And we know we're going to start making our second ethanol setup. Uh, pipeline wise. We're just going to go like that. In most cases, we should have it go through the tiles because it just looks cleaner. And we're going to set that up. We're going to have to remove the tepidizer. Uh, this is no longer going to be necessary. The upside is, though, is that the salt water right here is going to stop the CO2 from exploding. And this is a lot of CO2. Of course, there's also the crude oil that they're pumping out, which is okay. And then, then the heat could come out. So, seems to be okay for now. I could give them a little bit more power if it's necessary, but I think we're going to be chilling with that. Oh yeah, there's also going to be the shipping setup. Uh, so there's going to be a chute right here, and we're going to have to split this up like so. Gotta have the oil. Gotta have the oil. Alright, alright. Cthulhu, you know what time it is. <laughs> alright, real talk. We gotta find out who's actually going to be our researcher to do that. All right, so that is data analysis. No one actually has that skill yet. Oh, it's going to be Gorbash? I refuse. Okay, okay. I think it's going to be Gorbash. Applied sciences is material study determined. Yeah, we're going to give him the uh, data analysis. He's a pilot as well, so he's going to have to take over. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, we gotta mine that tile still. We got this built out pretty fast. Okay, so... Let's try to mine this out. While we try to mine this out. While we try to mine this out. We need to clear as much of this as we can right now. I think it's only gonna benefit us if we do. We need to clear out as much as this area so that we could start using it. Got to use all the room for more activities. All right, speed this up. Wait for the dupes. Hi, Legit. What's going on, Decovers? How are you today? Hope you're doing well. But how was the Tuesdays, man? So, guys, if you guys didn't know, there's something called table salt that you can make in the game. And if you get enough table salt... You have little salt shakers on your meal table right here. It's pretty cute. They get to add salt to their food. And they actually have an animation for doing it. Oh, they're eating excellent fruit? Ah, oh, that's illegal, dude. Yeah, that's not actually legal. Who's eating that? I am good. How are you in Mamba? Mamba's in the living room. He's, uh, you know, just lounging around right now. <laughs> he's not really doing anything. He's just being a kitty cat. But he's in the living room, even though it's hot as hell in the living room right now. And it gives them one plus one taste. Yeah. If you click on the meal table, you see them adding the salt to the food. Hey, salt to the barbecue. 
It gives you plus one morale. Table salt. Plus one. Mama likes the warmth. He does. He does, he does. Ah, uh, here we go. So I need to start clearing out this chlorine geyser today. I need to start pumping up the gas as well. So, first things first. This is ready, right? Let's put some extra plastic tiles right there. Just to get some extra blocking. And then we have enough oxygen here that I don't need to worry about. Next thing we just need is our bathroom water. Okay, so we need to start pumping in some bathroom water. That is going to go into the intake. And then that's coming out through here. Yeah, should it matter. And then I need to have water ready. So it has to be regular water. Had a freak hailstorm over here yesterday. Crazy wind. It blew over a fence and a tree near my apartment. Dude, that sounds crazy. You guys have some wild weather, man. I wouldn't be able to live like that. Like, the weather is crazy. Y'all over there, man. Y'all is crazy. <gasps> I could use my bathroom water as bathroom water. Oh, that's genius. That's actually kind of genius. I get to use my bathroom water as bathroom water. And I think I'm going to do it. The hell is pretty small. Bathroom water is bathroom water? Yeah, man. It's, it's called the advanced strategies. So over here is ice cold. So I have to uh, insulate this part. And then after that, we don't have to have it as insulated anymore. Uh, have it come down to here, here, here. And then this is my bathroom water. This needs to be higher up the priority list. I mean, we have enough oxygen, 76 kilograms, but this needs to be seething. You gonna purify it? Nah, man, it's toilet water. So basically what, what I'm using this water for right here is we have a porta potty inside. So he just needs it to flush. It doesn't have to be clean. <laughs> it's kind of gross, but it's, it's kind of true, man. He just needs it to flush. That's all he needs it for, man. It's not that, it's not that bad, right? I know it sounds, it sounds weird, man. <laughs> he just needs it to flush. Don't worry about it. So we're going to redo my bathroom storage to here. Since we have a ledge for it, might as well. It's we I know. It sounds weird. But the game just, uh, you know, as long as it's water, it's all that matters. Oh, someone's yodeling. Hey, you got serenaded. Pog, ch Pog champ, dude. Who's yodeling? Someone's singing around the uh, colony right now. Can't really mind. Singing's pretty cool. Oh, a demolished rocket. Nice. Destroyed satellite. Okay. It's not too bad. Not too bad. Some point of interest nearby already to grab some artifacts. Alright, my dupes. Man, I feel like I need more dupes. It honestly feels like I need some more. Like, there's not enough to get the work done fast enough, it feels like. Take the glass. Of course, I'll take the glass. I want to take the glass. We're going to need more solar panels. Wait a second. Heavy watt lot. What? Oh, insulated gas pipe. Oh, you kidding me? This is actually freezing the seal too. Oh, that means it's falling down and becoming gas again. Oh, God. All right. I guess I need to do this. I didn't think I did. But we're going to seal up the cold energy. Because <laughs> it's freezing my pipes, man. Holy crap. I actually have to seal it up. Dude, the cold energy is too strong. We're going to have to seal it up right now. Hello, everyone. What's up? What's going on, Eric? How are you doing today? 
We're going to be uh, approaching space today. My CO2 is in insulated gas pipes, and it's still freezing into liquid CO2 just by being next to the space ice. I have to seal it up now, man. feels bad. <laughs> Which probably means I have to seal up the left side, too. But we only got uh, so many dupes to work. And they're constantly repairing. But how are you doing today, Eric? How was the days? How is the Tuesdays? You doing all right, man? Hope all is good in your part of the world. Hey, Dr. Evil's rubber dog. What is good? I see you over there, Dr. Evil. Hey, man. Space ice. It's like that, man. You see how cold this is? Minus 65. It's been around since I've been around. All good, Eric. Life happens, right? Hopefully it hasn't been too bad. But I know that a lot of the times you got to take care of business, whether it's work, family, whatever it may be. Yo, man, all good. Always welcome to have you around, though, Eric, so no worries. I opened a geo with 40 tiles of 420 kilograms of oxygen per tile, and, and my CO2 compressed to two tiles at the bottom of the base. Yeah, that happens. That's one of the things you got you to gotta be weary of. Gas bombs. If you find like a geode, which is a like a small little square like this big, surrounded by abyssalite, usually the center is going to be a gas or a mineable element. If it is a gas, watch out. There is a good chance that you might get a gas bomb inside. Those things can be kind of scary, especially if it's the non-breathable gas. Oh man, it, it gets tough. It gets tough. Doing really good. Last week I had a few exciting opportunities with my work for the sports channel. Nice, nice. Yo, Dr. Evil, man. Did 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 the uh uh beach day with the boys happen already? I believe it was supposed to be in June, right? Y'all rented out the house, caught each other in RKOs. But you guys are on the beach, so you land on the sands, not that bad. But yo, good to hear that you're doing good. Got some opportunities for the sports channel. That's Pog Champ, dude. Did you see the Slovenian game with Luca? They had a game recently, man, and it looked like he slimmed up a little bit. Hey, no Siri, how are you? How long have you been working on this particular run? Exactly 31 hours. It actually tells you on the top left. That's one of the things I kind of appreciate. It's at the same time, it's kind of like, huh. I wonder how long I've been playing. And then on the same note, do I want to know how long I've been playing? <laughs> but yeah, that's about 30 hours so far. Game is complex. Yo, man. Uh, Gyro. If you need help, let me know. Or if I mispronounce your name, help you out with that, please. But uh, yeah, this game is complex. There's a lot you can do, and it can be very overwhelming. So I will say that if you need help, let me know. I'll be happy to help you out as best as I can. That was last week. Belts not did not get made. Everyone bailed on the idea once we got there. Oh, feels bad. So there's no title belt. Did the gambling ideas fall out too? I mean, it happens. Clash? What? Why are you peeing? Why are you peeing? Oh, the toilets are maxed out. Oh, sh I didn't do this properly. Okay, I messed up, boys. God damn it. I messed up. It was supposed to be like this. And I had to cut this line. No! And then I have to do... That setup, that setup. Oh my god, does that mean everyone's gonna start peeing their pants? This is not a good look. Hypothermia... 
He, that's bad, dude. He yeah, peed his pants, dude. Huge root. Everything got dropped. We're still competing, though. But no uh, physical belts. Ah. Uh, feels bad. Hey, man. Hope you have fun, though. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Was this Cthulhu? It's Coop and Hammond. Uh, they're peeing in suits. Oh, man. I should have paid attention to my bathroom loop. All right. So, construction. Max priority. We need that done now. No, that's 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 the correct way. That's the correct way, Jack O'Hein. No worries. You already know I opened a can of whoop ass in both 2K and Smash. Hey, did you win though? Did you win? If there was a belt, would you have been the winner? Asking the real questions, man. <laughs> Peeing in the suits is the worst. You know that it will never be clean again. Dude, 100% man. It will never be clean again. You hate to see it. It's never going to be clean again. You probably said this was temporary. No, I was actually trying... Oh, another mess. Slayer is peeing on the ground. We just got to clean it up, boys. What happened was, was that I was trying to get some uh, pee water into the rocket. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to move my water storage from here to here so that I could use this pee water to funnel into here. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's going to work. That's going to be easy. And man, I messed up. All right, so what's supposed to happen is we're going to take the water from here and funnel it out. Now, oh, I got I can't do this. I got to let the pee water from here come out. I need to build this pipeline. And I need that so the bathroom water could leave. Come on, one more pipe. I would have been the winner, or at least finest for 2k. I had three W's uh, than the one guy, but who knows if he would have pulled through in the final. But in Smash, I was undisputed. A nice. Only way to do it, man. Only way to do it. Here we go. That's the correct way to do it now. And then I have this feeding into that. There we go. Now we just have to wait for this to empty out. I was going to ask for my dupe, but the way you take care of them, I'm not sure. Actually, Eric, we're full right now. We're only going to be taking 16 dupes. And that's because I wanted people to all live inside the space for modules, and I can't get more than 16. <laughs> And if any case, I can't I can't get more than 15 because I need one at the very minimum just to fly around and do my research and artifact and temporal terror breaching. So I don't want to get too many dupes on this playthrough. At some point, you will have to colonize, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so because of that, I can't get too many rocket ship houses. And because of that, I don't want to get too many dupes. <laughs> we'll have to see, though. Things might change. Right? You never know. Alright, so the bathroom is fine now. Now, the last things we're going to need is finish up our pipeline. So that our rocket research can get started. Wednesday, Sunday, work at Sports Channel. New initiative in Denmark is an event where all Danish comps or champs are held one week in the same city. Like the Olympics, but it's for Danish championships. So I covered BMX. Hey, swimming on Thursday, Sunday. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Sounds like you're going to become a more all around sports guy and not just basketball. That's cool. That means that you're not going to have seasonal jobs anymore. It's going to be year round. That's probably the biggest, uh, the biggest plus on that. It's the fact that since they are branching out, you're technically forced to work but at the same time that's kind of means that you're always going to have work though which is going to be a good thing because it's like the thing about basketball is that you have off season right and that i mean you have that with every sport so when that happens and if you guys are covering it you guys either a come up with some topics to you know talk about in the off season or b 
you know, you kind of just cover a different sport. <laughs> It'd be like that, though. But hey, man, it's Pog. Good to hear that you're getting some, uh... What do you call that? You're getting extensions to the other field. Which is good. So I gotta ask, man. Now that you're doing multiple sports... Are you getting more of an appreciation for the other jobs? Not not the jobs, but the other sports, if that makes sense. Like, one of the things was, until I learned about the uh, baseball mind games and the pitcher battles versus the batters, and how, you know, throw counts and base loaded and ball counts and stuff like that all came into play when it came to actually pitching, it, it got a lot more interesting. So I gotta ask, has there ever been another sport that's starting to get more interesting because of something like that? And at BMX, my producer's like, we don't really need graphics. You up for working the cameras? And I said yes, even though I was hella nervous. But the producer, my boss, said I did really good. So I hope I can move up uh, the ladder a little. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yo, man. You're gonna need... I'm gonna have to slip you some... Uh, Slip you some uh, graphics just to flash in front of the camera for two seconds. You could do that for me, right? It's just going to say twitch.tv slash 2 <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Don't get fired. Uh, Swimming the channel had a deal with a few other channels. And Saturday, Sunday, my production uh, broadcasted for the biggest channel, Denmark. So my shit was on national TV, baby. You should have yelled, hi, mom. <laughs> from behind the camera and be like, oh, that was someone in the crowd, dude. I don't know who that was. <laughs> I'm just memeing, but I'm just saying, man. You want national TV, man. First off, don't get fired. But of course, yo, man, you gotta say what's up to mom. Oh, barbecue? I'm taking that. That's awesome, though, Dr. Evil. Sounds like you're moving up. Sounds like you're expanding the horizons. That's some good stuff, man. Now that you work the camera, though. Is it hard, man? I gotta ask. It feels like a lot of the times it's just... Point the camera here. And don't get caught, like, focusing on the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, man. My name was in the credits? Oh, that's Pog. And I uh, told my parents, a few friends. Why did I see your name on TV? <laughs> you should have told your grandma. I'm trying to make the family name, uh, you know. You got People got to know about us, grandma. <laughs> people got to know who I am. <laughs> they got to know, man. And the people only know if my name's out there. You got you to gotta tell them about that. Word has it. I'm the best in the business. So I got to put my name out. <laughs> That's awesome though, man. A, a situation like that. Dude, your name got put on the TV. That's just nice. I texted my parents. Turn on the TV. I'm going live. <laughs> oh my god. They're probably like, oh, you're live streaming now. <laughs> Come on, man. You're live streaming. Too legit told you not to do it. <laughs> it's like, no, no, I'm on, I'm on TV, TV. They're going to be like, what? Oh, man. That's awesome, though, Dr. Evil. Good stuff, good stuff. Ah, oh, it's constantly breaking, man. I need to stop, uh... I need to stop allowing that to freeze. And I can't really do that unless I just launch... I mean, I could just go without bathroom water. Which is probably going to be what I should do. So let's just go right outside. Controls? Oh, I don't have a control station. Never mind. I forgot to uh, rebuild that. My bad, my bad. Dr. Evil Man, are you going to be famous? 
Am I gonna start reading about the exploits of the Dr. Evil's rubber duck? It was exciting, and I got recommendations explaining the production, so I'll have it on text that my uh, work was on national. Hey, so that's gonna look really good on the school apps. Honestly, like going to school might become like a secondary thing now. Like, it's always important to get the education, but at this rate, it's looking like they need you to wear a lot of hats. That's a lot of the time things you're never going to learn at in school. And it's, you know, just because it's going to be more of the things that they can't teach you. Now, I'm not saying to give it up. I'm just more so like, man, you might not have to go. <laughs> if, if it keeps on moving up, right? A behind the camera, no fame for me. Dude, you get the name on the credits. You get the name on the credits, man. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, I'm not gonna lie. You're young. I imagine that, you know, you, you work out a little bit just from hearing some of the Dr. Evil's exploits. I gotta ask, man. Are you going to be willing to do the thing where they make you wear the camera suit? You know what I'm talking about? There's the things where they have uh, the cameraman holding the camera, but it's uh, strapped onto their body. And what they have is a gyroscope stabilize it. And what they do is, is that they make you run with the camera to catch, you know, whatever's happening. Do you think you'd be able to do that, man? If you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you've ever seen the cameraman run alongside, like, the field. Yo, Eric! Thank you so much! Coming in with the Prime! Coming in with the two months of support. Welcome back to the city! And of course, enjoy the emote the 20 does ad free viewing. Don't forget that legit sub badge. But thank you so much for the support, Eric. I see you over there. And of course, guys, Eric just came in with his Prime Gaming. You guys were wondering, what is Prime Gaming? What is that? That is a free subscription at no additional cost to you. If you guys have Amazon Prime, you guys have Prime Gaming. And what that does is if you link up your Twitch account to your Amazon account at no additional cost to you because you guys already paid for this, you guys get a free Prime Gaming subscription to your streamer of choice. Of course, you get one free every month and it does not auto renew, meaning that if you don't renew it, you're going to be letting it waste. So use it on a streamer. If not me, use it on your favorite streamer, who, whoever that may be. Just make their day and make sure to use it. But of course, Eric, thank you so much for choosing me today. Appreciate the support. Maybe. I mean, when I hope this will get bigger, but nevertheless, education will only improve the work vice versa. So I think it's a pretty good setup because the one is uh, relevant for the other. That's true. What's ever necessary. <laughs> I promised myself to say yes to all the opportunities coming my, uh, my way in the beginning. The more I get to do, the better I get. That's true. So what if what if you put it on, Dr. Evil, and you're like, I don't think I could run in this. <laughs> do you actually start working out outside of the work just to start being able to wear the camera suit? I'm, I'm just saying, man, how, how far are you willing to go? You got to hit the gym. Hey, okay, okay. I see you over there. Yo, was this the top of the asteroid looks like? No, it looks like this. It looks like this. We get sunlight on the top. We got a telescope. And there's a space vacuum so we can't breathe. So we have to make sure that there's oxygen inside. Right? Everything on the top of the map is freezing. My pipes are breaking because it's too cold. What's going on, Tarantra? I see you over there. How you doing today, man? How was Sandy? I hear the puppers is pooping all over the place. No random space crap hitting your solar panels? That got patched out. That got patched out with the DLC because they totally revamped how space exposure uh, works now. Back in the day, in the vanilla oxygen not included, what they did was that they made Rocketry a late game research all the way at the bottom right. Now, in the new DLC that came out, they redid rocketry so that it's a early game option and what i mean by that is you have the option 
of getting your rocket platform and your space for modules. So basically your rocket startup, right? The earliest you could build your rocket is this early, which is really early because it used to be over here on this tree with the four different techs. It takes you a long time to get. But since they made it early game now, the only way for them to balance it, because we can't deal with the meteor showers uh, without steel, is to remove it. So because now that it's removed, it's a little bit more, you know, it's more calm. Is it because you have to hop now for resources? Um, no. It's not that you have to hop for resources, but it's because you have the option to hop around for resources that it is the reason, yes. So although you can hop around for resources, I don't think it's necessary. A lot of the times you could make do with whatever you have on your asteroid. And there is only like a couple of circumstances that force you to leave. If you have a scarcity of a certain resource for a certain progression point, you could actually just skip it. So in my case, I'm missing a resource known as gold. Gold amalgam. This resource is really nice because it allows you to get overheat temperature of over 50 degrees Celsius. So that overheat temperature allows me to deal with the hot environment a little bit better. Now, because I don't have gold on this asteroid or my second asteroid, that's my uh, sister asteroid with the teleporter, I can't really utilize the gold even though I need it because I just don't have it. So the only thing I could do is skip gold. And that's what I did. I went directly to steel. <laughs> because steel allows you to do overheat 200. So it's things like that. If you have enough experience with the game, you could start, you know, just skipping parts of the progression. Because you don't have to follow that, you know, as strictly as you need to. As long as you're able to just provide for yourself get stable and then from there just work on whatever you need to build there's a teleport for the second asteroid yep eric's right it makes it so that we don't need to send a rocket those meteor showers sucked yeah they did a lot of the times man it just meant that you needed to have a lot of steel which meant that you can't start space research until you get steel so it was a tough time it was a tough time Bonjour, what's going on, Mind Builder? How are you today? How was the Tuesdays? I hope you're doing well. And of course, we got... Yo, man, my, my dudes are taking forever. I need to... Uh... Man, I'm using insulated pipes too, and it's freezing over still. Although it means that sand is sometimes harder to get nowadays. No infinite source of regolith. Mm, it's true, but for the most part, I think what they want us to do is once we find a point of interest like this, they just want us to start droconing. You don't get infinite regolith, but technically you could get infinite sand by going here, grabbing the igneous, and then crushing it. It's just a lot of the times, you know, getting diamonds is going to be more important now because we could technically convert the diamond at the point of interest to any other resource. But, you know, we're used to what we're used to. It was kind of nice having the regolith, man. Never having to worry about running out of filtration mediums. As I'm out of sand right now, feels bad. <laughs> I'm actually out of sand, dude. I think I'm going to crush one of my minerals into... Uh... Damn, all my minerals are so good, though. I don't want to crush it. All right, so let's look at what we have. Raw minerals. We have a lot of igneous. I want to bop the mafic. But, yeah. Are also those animals eight regolith, right? Ah, you're talking about the shovels. Since the meteor showers are gone, you don't get the shovels either. So the shovels, you're talking about these guys. Right? These little piggies. These guys are actually pigs. So these guys have their own planet now. So if you do want to ranch them, you have to go find them. Now, the funny thing is, is that the planet they live on has the meteor showers. <laughs> so they just made the meteor shower as a unique planet attribute. 
So it's still in the game. It's just that it's kind of uh, isolated by itself. So yeah, you can grab these, but you have to go to the meteor shower asteroid, pick them up, and then bring them back home. But yeah, those guys are uh, the guys we were talking about, I believe. Alright, so we're waiting for that to be built still. A lot of mining's being done, but it uh, should be fine. Alright, I think I just need to do this. Like, my god. <laughs> my god. And then if I go into here, let me make this higher priority. So that's a little bit faster. I prefer shower made of water. I see a mine builder. I could do one of those. <laughs> I could do one of those. I've done that before in this game. Kappa? No cap. I have a video on that. <laughs> alright, alright. So today what we're going to probably want to do is create a lot of ranches. Uh, not because we need the food, but more so I want to start stabilizing the food. So we did get this built. We do need power here. And can I put it on this line? I probably could. I put this on its own separate line, though. Oh, that's because of the aqua tuner. Yeah, 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 yeah. That means I can use this line. Oh, that's nice. Because I'm probably not going to use a desalinator here that much. That might be the play. Because then I could just move this water loop back into here. The first video I saw of you is the explosive water tank. Quite impressive. Hey, yo, man. Hope I'm glad you uh, enjoyed the video. I think you enjoyed it, right? <laughs> but I stumbled upon that randomly. I wasn't expecting to make a video like that. I honestly was just on the water asteroid trying to figure out a way to compress the water. And then it just started duplicating nonstop. And I was like, okay, this is not right. Something weird's going on. And then I was like, oh, crap. I, I started double checking my values because I was like, dude, that's a billion kilograms. <laughs> that's that's probably the most water I've ever seen on a single tile. And I was like, dude, this would make a great video. <laughs> and then the video was born. Sometimes, man, things just somehow get to genius. So Mind Builder, I got to ask. Someone in, in the comments of that YouTube video, they asked me, you should build a base around it and then release it so that we could see how much the water will do to a base. So basically, I have my water tank. He wants me to basically build like a living arrangement around it with rooms and stuff. And he wants to see the damage that it will do if it was inside of actual hallways. Because technically in the video that I made, we didn't have much like blocking the water. It kind of just went out omnidirectionally, like, you know, all directions. And I was like, huh, maybe. I technically have the compressed uh, water tile. I do. I do have the save stuff. I could actually load it up right now. So that's actually what happened. I found out that... I had so much water, so I made a safety save, not because I wanted to make a video, but because I wanted to see what would happen, and I was scared my game was going to crash, releasing a billion kilograms of water. <laughs> I thought my game was going to, you know, crash the desktop, PC is going to burn to the ground, you know how it is. Worried about that stuff sometimes. But I do still have the save. I do still have the save. Damn it, man. Why is this still freezing? Alright, so I kind of just need to... Uh, yeah, we're just going to have to uh, use the rocket fuel. We're going to just go one tile out and then launch. That way, we'll go out for a cycle, come back, and then we'll use the rocket fuel, which will allow a little bit of warmer CO2 to start being in the area. And then we also insulated the area... Even though it is really cold still, I think it's going to pick up in temperature. Oh, we got an achievement. 
Space race, I'm in, boys. And it's launched. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, that's not too bad. So everything I think is okay. This is good. I think, oh, I need to do the power here still. So I think we could use it from here, right? That's what I thought we could do. So let's check this out. I would want this like that. And then we would want this connected. And this has no decor penalty. We'll just pull it straight down. And that connects to here. Couldn't you stack the houses to half the rockets used? I actually tried that. The game actually still detects the space fur modules as separate rockets. And I think it might be something to do with how the game codes the rockets. Because what's happening is, is that the... So if you didn't know, you could only have one space pharaoh module on your rocket at a time. And when I had both of these stacked on top of each other, this rocket and this rocket were different rockets, even though they were touching each other. Like right on top of each other, like it's supposed to be the same rocket. So the game still reads it as separate rockets, if that makes sense. So, I think what happens is when you build a space furrow module from the get go, it gets tied to a separate rocket every time you build it. Now, after you build it, there's no way to reassign the rocket, if that makes sense. Because the only way for you to reassign the rocket to the space furrow module is by deconstructing the space furrow module and then reconstructing it. If you already have one of these on a rocket platform, you can't build a second one. So that's kind of where the dilemma comes in. You have a situation where you can put both of these on top of each other, but because of the process you do to build it, they're both separate rockets from the get-go. Even though they're attached, it's different rockets. Build a labyrinth and watch the water do the path thing. Dude, that's not going to happen, man. That's not going to happen. I would have to build everything out of airflow. Because if I don't, the water is going to get stopped by one gas bubble in certain sp uh, certain spots. <laughs> like we've seen, you probably know about the Escher waterfall, right? Mind Builder? You probably know how, you know, one gas bubble could completely block off like, you know, 10,000 kilograms of polluted water. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like something like this could stop all the water dead in its tracks i wouldn't want to do that however though if i do make it out of airflow tiles none of my walls would get destroyed i would have to build it out of regular tiles it's just so that i could allow water pressure to destroy everything gotta have it everything should be connected i need to do that made a mess oh damn it i forgot to put toilet water in here see that would have been cthulhu he knew better though gorbash is gonna have to live the fate of uh one of cthulhu's lives <laughs> feels bad man what a fate to live all right so i gotta bring out the meat and we got to ship that out to our kitchen. It's connected. So all the meat goes into the kitchen. It's not too bad. What we could also do for the memes is ship out the eggshells and phosphorite. No, I can't do that because it's going to get to here. I'll have to let the dupes do it manually. We're no longer crushing for sand, even though I need a lot of sand. Do I need sandstone? I have 200 tons. If I didn't want to feed sandstone to my hatches, I would probably feed them dirt. And I'm using the ethanol loop. I have a lot of dirt because my pips are just eating branches. Not only that, I have pea dirt still. I want to say I should be willing to crush at least 99 sandstone. <laughs> For sand? I, I gotta just do it, man. I need sand. This has not been uh, filtering out any of the polluted water that I've been releasing. 
And uh, that means my electrolyzers have not been producing oxygen. Feels bad, man. Good thing we have a good stockpile. Missing research station. I need to build a virtual planetarium. That's probably going to be by my petrol refinery, as that's going to be where my power source is. Uh, this line... Oh, it's going to be connected to the bottom soon. That's going to be bad. Yeah. And I got to remove that tile. So... Oh, yeah, the glass forge line. Oh, that works really nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So wait for the autosave lag. Come on. All right, so I am going to want the virtual planetarium. Oh, it fits right there. We're going to put it right here. And then we'll just do that. And then I'll also put a storage bin for the databanks right next to it. All right, so this guy... Are you hungry? Oh, he's about to run out of oxygen. Uh, how many databanks do we have? Ten? All right, that's not bad. Let's go home. Come back, man. Come back. All right, so with that, the fuel comes out. And the good thing about this is that the cold, cold fuel gets to leave. So I don't have to worry about it anymore. Funny thing is that cools down the solar panels. Not really, though. Cats could do weird sounds. Have you have you seen the video, Killer Renee? There was a cat that was barking like a dog. <laughs> there was a cat that was barking like a dog out the window. And the owner was recording the cat barking. And the cat didn't know. The owner calls the cat and the cat turns around. And stops barking and starts meowing again. <laughs> Yo, man, cats are crazy, man. Cats are crazy. That's all I'll say, man. Cats don't mess around. I don't know how the cat is able to do that, but I was impressed. I was impressed. If you haven't seen the video, man, I recommend checking it out. It's kind of interesting. Alright, so the pipeline's built, so this means... Ah, you know what I need here, actually? A meter valve. I want to put this here, so that... I could manually do the setup. What does that mean, Mind Builder? And shy about it? I don't know what that word means, man. I think I'm taking Bombly. I'm not taking more any more dupes. Oh, look at this guy, anemic and nickphobic. Needs the light to sleep. Feels bad. There, there is a thing where they were talking about how cats only meow for us humans. Oh, speaks multiple languages. I see you over there. All good, all good. I, I just didn't know what the word meant. Hey, man, no worry. Don't got to apologize for that. If I do ask, it usually just means I didn't know the word. So, you know, man, I learned a little bit today. Nothing wrong with that. There's a thing they were talking about how cats only meow as a way to, like, become domesticated. It's like a weird, weird way of kind of describing it. But they do it for the humans, us. It's kind of weird to kind of really think about, though. But that's apparently, like, it, it's evolutionary trait, and they only do it for us. It's kind of crazy. So we're at eight, and we're at eight. This is at eight critters, so it's here. Did I ever set this up? I don't think I did, right? I didn't. That's my dirt generation. I wanted that there so that the auto sweepers could just put the dirt. I think my dupes are doing it though. 
What should be fine? I guess just putting this at priority one is going to be uh, the best thing for us to do. Oh man, they keep peeing their pants. I'm thinking I might need more Atmo suits. It keeps looking like it's too empty. If you want the humans to serve, you have to speak the language they respond to. I remember I took a class in college that talked about is being cute a evolutionary trait. It was kind of interesting. They were they were literally talking about is being cute an evolutionary trait. And they were it was it was it was a weird class. <laughs> it was a psychology class, but they were just talking about things like that. The cuter the animal, the more often they get chosen as pets, live longer lives because of that. And then they potentially get to have kids. And I was like, hmm, you might be on to something. But at the same time, it's like, don't a lot of domesticated animals get neutered or spaded? I've rescued several kittens because they were too cute to leave behind. <laughs> oh man, dude, it'd be like that, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it do. The, G uh, the three generations of foxes that face changed over time. It was was that a thing? I've never heard of that. Three generations of foxes and their face changes over time. To become cuter, to become more domesticatable, potentially. That could be a thing. Experiment since 1950s. Sounds like a good debate on genetic theory. That was that was something that was part of the class though. So it's it's something that has been talked about, right? It has to be. Otherwise I feel like I wouldn't have heard about it. <laughs> Their colors change too, really. Is there a color scheme that's more like aesthetically pleasing to the human eye? I don't know enough about that kind of stuff. But it seems interesting. The thing is though it's like how do how how do genes know what's cute? <laughs> right? That's 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 the weirdest thing. It's like it's like when the animals die, or when they have kids, is it like an RPG? And you get to choose your traits to pass on to your kids. We used to do like, huh, do I want to be six foot tall, or do I want to be good looking? You choose one or the other. <laughs> and it's like, ah, oh, crap. I got, I got a bad D20 roll this time. You could see AI theories using genetic theory. There are a couple of demonstrations in like AI learning Mario Kart and genetic theory. Dude, the AI learning Mario Kart was wild. I saw that on, I think it was GDQ. My God. It's black and white. Doesn't that look more like a skunk? Less cuter animals die because they don't get rescued or picked at shelters. Oh, damn. That's heartbreaking, man. Feels bad, man. They don't think it'd be like it is, but it really do be like that sometimes. The cat colony where I used to live, the cats learned to be social with people thrive because they got free food and they didn't have to compete as much with other strains. Ah. So, so that kind of makes me think. So you guys know Mamba, my kitty cat. He's very territorial, right? In a sense that this is his territory and you know that's a that's a trait amongst cats right it's nothing weird about that that's i wouldn't say it's common but it's not uncommon i wouldn't say that like it's it's a thing not all cats have it but cats do have that potentially and one of the things is even though he's territorial he is still deathly afraid 
of other humans. He's afraid of the other humans still. Like, when people visit, he's stressed out. He's under my bed. He doesn't want to crawl out. And even when, you know, a lot of people aren't here, and it's like me and my mom or something, he's, he's afraid of my mom. And I'm just kind of like, you know, my mom has never done anything bad to them. But at the same time, it's like, well, my mom doesn't really interact with them at all, period. So I'm thinking, okay, maybe that's a thing because he's not used to her. But now I'm thinking about it. Is it potentially a thing that Mamba likes how he's living right now? And because of that, he wants to keep me for himself. Like, uh, you know, basically, he doesn't want to share me with other cats. <laughs> and it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. He, he yells at the other cats so that I don't adopt them. Used to be stressed too if a uh, tw a giant 20 times my size was stomping around my home, to be honest. So here's the thing. It's not like the people when they come visit, it's not like they're, uh, you know, being loud and rowdy. They're usually here to like, you know, stop by to see how my dad is or how my mom is. And, you know, they could be loud, but they're not like stopping around or anything. And they're not even in the same room as the cat. The cat's in my room. Doors closed and everything, but he, he could sense that they're there. He has a safe spot. He has a safe spot. But I'm not going to lie. You guys know how there's the thing where it's like, oh, he's that's the term crazy cat lady. You guys have probably heard about that phrase before. I'm not going to lie, man. I wouldn't mind having more cats. <laughs> is it weird, man? It just it feels like having cats is kind of nice. You're the cat safe space, which is fine. I'm cool with that. How many cats is too many cats? I feel like one cat's cool, but there are times where I'm thinking to myself, wouldn't it be better for my cat that I have right now to have a companion? And I thought about that a lot. Maybe I should get Mamba, you know, another cat. But then I see him interact and I'm just kind of like, I don't know if he wants to have a companion. <laughs> Two is good. Four is a lot. Three could be okay if they get along well. That's true. That's the thing I'm worried about. I'm worried that Mamba will not get along with anyone else. Feels weird, man. He's, he's one of those kitty cats that has to be king. That's a trick question. You can never have enough. I see you over there, Tessa Padawan. I see you over there. The max is as many as you can take care of and have their needs met and also not stress out older cats with too many new cats. That's true. Hmm. I think I, I can't get another cat now. If I do get into a chance or situation where I could provide for myself and move out and have my own space, I'd probably get another cat. But yeah, I think one for now might be it. I am thinking about it though. So those of you guys in chat that do have a cat, have you guys ever thought about getting a second cat for your cat? And if you guys have two cats right now, was it a good decision or was it a bad one? You could foster cats until they go to their new homes. Hmm, that is true. I'm afraid, though, because Mamba has never had fleas, too. That's another thing that's kind of weird. Mamba has never had fleas. The first year I had him I, gave him, I gave him flea medication. Not because he needed it, but because I was like, I don't want to deal with it. And then afterwards, I ran out, and I was like, you know what? I'll order some more, 
if he gets fleece. And then he's never gotten fleece. And he sleeps on the same bed as I do. But he never goes outside. So he doesn't interact with like the grass or anything. There is some house plants, but you know, we don't have fleas in the house. So I'm worried about like things like that. My challenge is 90%, 95% of landlords out there refuse pets. That is true. They don't like having pets in the house because it's um it, it speeds up the wear and tear. A lot of things happen. Cats and dogs biting through furniture, going through walls, peeing on a carpet. Yeah, they do have yeah extra deposits, pet deposits. That is the thing, 100%. A lot of places don't allow dogs. Cats are okay, but usually only one of them. We had three cats now. Two passed, all males. Had females in the past, but prefer males. Just make sure they're neutered. I could see why, because I've had a female cat before, and when a female cat's in heat, dude, it is horrible. It is a bad time, man. When a female cat's in heat, dude, they will literally just just stand at the door and start wailing like a banshee. It's, it, they're gonna act like they're about to die or something. And yo, man. All the other cats in the neighborhood just start crawling out of the woodwork because there's a lot of strays in my neighborhood. It is a bad time. Yeah, it's, it's horrible, man. You hear it at night sometimes. So anyone in chat had had one cat and then got a second one so that their cat could have a companion? I'm curious. I, I'm curious to ask if, uh, you know, if it was better. If you guys noticed any differences. If the cat was happier. I'm curious, man. That's why I had my cat spade. That, so I had my cat spade and they still was in heat. It was the weirdest thing. It was the weirdest thing. We had two females in a small 40 meter apartment. And in the beginning, they was not sterilized. Oh my god, I just kill them sometimes. Ooh, yeah. So if anything, make sure take him to the vet <laughs> that's that's the that's the first lesson i'm learning from chat today take him to the vet it's it's gonna be better i see you guys over there i see you guys i see you guys all right so the power line's established i can actually hook this up now all right we're gonna need 100 kilograms of water And that also means I don't need this anymore. Nice, nice. CO2 is starting to freeze again. Don't worry, we're going to launch right now. And then the person I'm sending, his name is Gorbash. Ah, so his uh, sleep schedule is coming up. Okay, we gotta wait until after his sleep schedule so that we maximize a little bit better. Oh, damn it. The cold damage can't stop, won't stop. I'm kind of mad. <laughs> I'm kind of mad. Man. All right, so I know a way that guarantees that doesn't happen anymore. I just don't want to do it. Oh, the heavy watts in the way. Damn it. I got to put another layer of insulated on that. Not, not, I don't need two layers. I need to have my pipeline inside the insulated tiles. That's what I need. I need to have my CO2 pipeline inside insulated tiles. Because inside that means I'm in 13 instead of inside uh, minus 30 oxygen. And it's right here. That's the uh, 
the biggest amount of damage it looks like. Honestly, if you talk to the place you're adopting the cat about how you're nervous about mom's reaction, they'd probably work with you if they don't get along. Hmm. Okay, okay. Hope so, hope so. I was looking at um, animal shelters and dude, man, rebuild your pipes in time to wall. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I have to do this tile, this tile as well. I was looking at the animal shelter 